greetings to you where we are in this world. I, I wasn't going to come out here this early today, but, you know, I just want people to find their conscious mind. And, I, you know, God blessed me to come out here uh, five weeks ago. You know, it'll be going probably into six weeks with this, this channel. And he have been, his messages have focused on natural disasters, flooding, hurricanes, whatever, wind, whatever it is. It, natural elements, you know, that are destructive. And what we're going through is serious and people aren't getting it. But I want to do a shout out for everybody in New York City who is affected by all of this flooding. I don't watch I don't watch mainstream media that much, so I'm behind on a lot of stuff. But to find out that you all are dealing with flooding. Find God, New York. Pray. Start praying. Lift up God. Start calling out. Not saying that you haven't, but do it more. Do it more. You're in a serious situation right now. For when your tr public transportation is being affected because of the the, the systems being flooded and there's electrical stuff going on and on and on and on and on. God is not, I'm not condemning or nothing like that. I'm just saying you're in a crisis. That whole city should be praying. I don't care what faith you are. I don't care what faith you are. You pray to God. We all go through stuff. Even here in the Midwest where I'm at, we go through a lot of, we go through floodings too. We go through a lot of windstorms and stuff like that. Listen, I'm sorry I'm looking a mess, but listen, it's more serious than that. You know, God has been warning us, but we're not hearing, evidently we're not hearing him. We're not hearing him. And sometimes, these things happen so that we can find ourselves and figure it out so we can come to him. You don't have to be perfect. We None of us are. It's who you serve. You can, either, you can serve the dark or the light. We all have to go through dark. And see the light. Sometimes there's there's light in the dark. Sometimes there's dark in the light. But we have to be able to navigate and manage both. But don't lose sight of who the boss is. That's all I'm saying. We're gonna go through hard times, even when we're with him. We will. But you, but you gotta have a heart for the righteous things and the what's right. And I just want to do a shout out for New York because I didn't realize y'all was was so was being devastated like that until like last night, you know. And I feel for you, but you need to pray about it. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry for that, but you need to pray about it because you're right on the ocean. Only God can pull you out. That's the only person, that's the only thing that can pull you out is God. Just serve him. Nobody's telling you be perfect. Nobody's saying the things that you've done or you do. You, you know, just stop everything right then. That's not, but when you find a heart for God and you're sincere, just go to him. Whatever you're doing, if it's not the right thing, if you have a sincere heart for him, he'll eventually guide you out of it. You don't have to be like right overnight. Like some people do that happens too, though. 
But if that's not you, don't let that stop you from for, from your lo love and seeking God. Because Iblis, Satan, whoever you call him, the dark force, whatever you call him, or whatever, the devil, the, the devil whatever you call it, they're not going to save you. It's not going to save you. It's trying to pull you down. That's the whole thing. <sighs> Grease my heart. Grease my heart because I see, you know, when I first started this channel a few weeks back, I haven't even been doing this that long, but I see through his word how he's, he's warning people. I'm just one person out here trying to reach just at least one person. Just at least one person. And that one person, maybe they'll reach one person. And that one person, maybe they'll reach one person. And then it might spread. Love, peace, happiness, and joy. Respect for our world and nature. So we can come back into alignment. We are off. The whole world is off balance right now because we have lost sight of what is real and matters. New York, I'm sorry what you're going through. That's sad to see all that water. It did make me sad. I'm like, oh, my God. Because people's lives are affected by that. If you can't get to work because the subway that, that you got to catch is flooded or there's electrical problems or whatever, I understand. I do public transportation. I understand. But you got to find God. That's the only way. <laughs>